Hey everyone, welcome back to how to set up Parallax Pro, the child theme for Genesis. In this video we're going to show you how to change the background images here. So we've got, uh, looks like we've got three different images we're going to change. The way to do that is we're going to go over here to our back end again. And we want to scroll up so we can see things and we want to scroll up to the up here to theme uh, under underneath appearance and then you're going to click on customize okay themes and then customize and then you're going to see down here you're going to see there's a section that says background images you want to click the down arrow and here's our here are our background images. So I'm going to click the first one. It drop, it kind of pushes a box down and then it says drop here or select a file. I'm going to click on select a file. And it brings up those images that we saw before and or at least I had been dealing with before. So these are the, 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 the uh, images and I'll leave a link below so you can download these. They're, they're common, Creative Commons licensed images so you can just have fun with them. And uh, Anyway, the one that we want to use first is going to be the one called Timeless Books by Wikimedia. This one right here. And click on, so select that and then click on Open. Alright, and you see over here to the left you got this new image over here to the right you can see the image has been applied okay we're going to scroll down a little bit I'm going to click on the featured section 3 image click on select a file the next image that we need is stories from the past this is what I've named them by the way I'm not sure they were named like this in the beginning but the link will take you to that picture um, and then click on open And here that picture has changed. Now you're going to click on the featured section 5 image. Click on select a file. And the one that we need for that one is this mountain thing. All, all Boar's Mountain. And click on open. Okay, if we go down here, down here all the way to the bottom, and there's that picture right there. Okay. All right. Make sure then that you click the Save and Publish button up here at the top to save your changes. And you can click on the X here. And then if you go back to the front page and you refresh it, you should see your changes having taken place. So I think that concludes this section. Uh, what I want to do is Right, okay, in the next section we're actually going to show you how to safely customize your child, the CSS of your Genesis child theme. This is Roger Eastlick. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media. Thanks.